In our last video, we talked about the first steps in the electronic design process, how we start with your idea and define the concept, demonstrate feasibility, create the circuit design or schematic, and complete an electrical design review. Now the board designers take over to do the physical layout. They start with a schematic and the board outline. Sometimes the outline is specified by the customer and sometimes they have us define it to fit in their product. We include any tolerance on size and create whatever shape is needed. Importing the rat's nest from the schematic shows all of the components with rubber band connections. The designer needs to place all of the components into the available space while minimizing the length of the nets and considering many other constraints such as edge clearances, heat dissipation, possible height limits. And once the parts are placed, run the connecting traces with width and spacing depending on the current and voltage. At Z-axis, the board designer works closely with the lead electrical engineer for the project on critical layout constraints for electrical performance. For example, parts where you have to watch for a loop area or noise pickup, things you can't tell from a schematic. This is one of the advantages of having design engineers and layout designers on the same team. The design engineer will always know where the most sensitive nodes are. And we finish with a layout review. Our manufacturing engineers will look for any problems based on their knowledge of manufacturing processes, while the design engineers consider performance. This immediate feedback is an advantage of having your design and manufacturing in one place. It's far easier, faster, and cheaper to make changes now before the layout is final. Finally, the layout designer creates a Gerber file. This industry standard format describes all the layers that make up the printed circuit board. The solder mask, copper areas, silk screen, pads, and any holes and then creates an array of boards. The array is sized for manufacturability on our equipment and for cost-effective use of a standard PCB substrate panel. Using these files, we order boards, and two days to four weeks later, we have the boards for incoming inspection. Meanwhile, we design and order a stencil laser cut from stainless steel. This will be used to put solder paste down on the board's metal areas. We generate a bill of materials from the schematic and order any parts that we do not stock. In our next video, we'll talk about the mechanical design process and how it dovetails with the electrical design. Until then, contact us if you have questions about electronic design.